Easy running. They've got the defusal. Has to be careful, though. There it is. There's a Chronosphere from Sumail. He was very, very patient. They want to try to burst down this Ember Spirit. And it's looked like they're going to be able to do it. They turn right back around again, too. And they'll find the kill. I'll bet they're going right back into the fight. Doesn't want to be left behind. Crit over on the side. They drop the Monkey King ulti. And the fourth step over onto No Tail. We'll be able to buy him just a bit more time. Thompson, the left behind. Over here on the side. He needs the help from Seb. Does Seb have the heals, though? Is he going to be able to keep him alive? No, he's not. As EG just starts charging over at OG. That's so step by just a bit more time. But the slight forward. Seb will fall. No Tail will fall too, and Sumail will be forced to run back into his own base, leaving Soxa behind. They reacted so well to the Chronosphere in the smoke. The rest are smoke, though. They're, they can oh, see they know exactly what is on their way. Immediately throwing out the laser. Sumail, the follow-up with this Ravage. BKB being popped on Seb. They're going to do as much damage as they can here to Saberlight. It's looking like they're not going to be able to do quite enough. Maybe one more hit. All right, there it is. There it is. Sumail going forward. All those long-range kisses again. Making chaos. Dubu sitting a little low. Forcing the soul river. They go in. They get the RP off. Sumail's just wailing away over here on the side. But these fights are completely split. They managed to get Thompson. Thompson going to buy back immediately. He wants to be a part of this fight. Tomato turning himself into his own version of the Mac. Chasing after Bryle. They've got so many heals, though. Is it going to be enough? No, Bryle will fall. Dubu hiding in the tree line. They don't have any way to cancel the TP, but they don't have to because they can just murder him. Just trying to put any damage that they can. Thompson following through here. They have the Hex. Need maybe one more hit. They'll find it on No Tail. They're making a rap play. Oh, oh, pops. We'll see Saber Light. Saber Light going onto the back lines, wanting to just blow up the supports. And by Huge God, they kills. do. They take out No Tail so quickly. They'll be able to follow up with Seb. Buybacks are coming out in mass, though. They want to be a part of this. Lasers are being tossed back. Tomato's just man fighting with Samail. Samail's totally all alone. This does not look good for him as he just gets ripped apart by Tomato. Bryle trying to find more fix. It's got Cookie forward, another silence. There's all these ghostly ladies. They get the kill on Thompson. They're chasing after Moon Meander. Can they get the kill? They will not be able to accept. He dies back. Everyone's a cousin here in right, the This is going to be Animal a Kingdom. second set of racks, it looks like. A Thunder Predator. I mean, they're waiting on a couple items here. There's a Burrow Strike, but Global Silence comes through. Arteezy taking a ton of damage. Oh, they didn't get Gets the right off the BKB, though. And the Boat comes in as well, but MNZ pops that ult. Nope, he does not. He dies. Got off the BKB and then died shortly after. Abed and company clean up on moves now, and this is looking like GG. A mega stomp, 18 to 5. EG taking care of business in game one. I do want to point out, if this game goes long, if you have Arteezy pick for most last hits in oh the game. Oh my, uh, they're going to find moves. All uh, right. Okay. So Lucent Beam being used. To, Buy uh, back, they're, they're going. Get, yeah, they're going to get the gem Wait, now. who's going where? Oh, there's okay. the jump in Duel. from Legion Commander, but... He's going to get blown up, and Arteezy's the dual dead. damage goes to Arteezy, but dies shortly after. MNZ now getting drained from Ice 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 with that refresher. That is the first life. Moves getting the warding done. Boundless Strike onto two. Ice 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 basically out of mana now. MNZ just crushing kids left and right. Crit gets off the ult before he ends up dying here, but MNZ getting pretty low. Ice 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 drops now. Where's the attack? MNZ, BKB still there. Abed oh! stuck in the midst of everybody. He's going to go down. Double kill for MNZ. 4-4-1, four, four, including the Aegis. If he has Medusa, any other spot in that chrono, it's easy for Weaver to come in and lap, so he was very much playing around it. Jin Q, another track on the Costa Bile, gets off the stun thanks to that shard, getting focus completely. Oh Fiola my Core God. There gets it is. off the time lapse this time. So back to full HP, full mana, pops his ult in turn, but the right clicks from Faith Beyond are absolutely ridiculous. You see the they Earth really going on, but not that much damage to work with. Yeah, Ame is dead. Now they're going to focus onto Costa B. Like, look at the damage. Nothing to say with the sun from the Dissimilate. They're all grouped up. Astro step to follow, dropping like flies. And this looks like it is likely the end of game number one. Tavo yep. does blink out to the trees, but gets off the Ravage. Okay, finds a kill. Very cheeky play from Tavo. Still taunting to his heart's content. There's the Astro. All right, he's just done. Let's not forget, even if you do run over, especially nothing to say. It's just crushing them. His farm isn't very good. He has 53 CS minute 11 on Ember, but yeah, we got the Burrow Strike. Ice place, nice save for now. Faith Beyond does get off the Epicenter right next to the Ancient Stack. What a battle to ensue here. Faith Beyond, finally the Hoof Stomp comes in. Only level 1 double edge, but 3 stacks of Shadow Poison. You have to think Faith Beyond will likely die in the end. It's Costa Bile getting kited on the backside here. Oh my goodness, he got half the stack. Yeah, the stack is looking now, much more oh diminished here. Nice no. searing chains and Scoring PSG LGD are absolutely crushing, crushing SG. Oof. Oh, that's easy. He has, oh, he has the BKB. Inside the base, BKB, he was Fresh. afraid of getting Echo slammed. 
He just bought it as well. That was meant to be a turning point. It's a good balance strike. Double wall stop. Knight falls in. EG need this, but the two-man echo from GPK get them a double kill for save. Nice no aside. buybacks. Doom. They doom. But what now? They die. They doom and they die. Three for one trade out, and save is the only death. Nice eclipse out there. That's going to be a kill. Kills off GPK thanks to Arteezy. But the Sunray keeping them healthy and alive. Yeah, Fly is going to pay with his life. Four staff on the high ground, but the DM is ready. Blinks up there, stomps him down. A dominating streak for DM Centaur. And now a 3v1 as Luna is the lone survivor. There, Smokes. They were very hesitant to move over to the other side of the map. We'll see if T1 want to come over to Alliance. Side of Alliance. They've got the oh, high ground. They're going to jump in. Nico, baby. In straight away, S4 comes with the BKB. They've taken down White Mon. Arena's down, but Carl turns with his own BKB. Hanskem buffing up the Ursa, but Ursa, Ursa gets Ursa burst. Gets the Lagoon has come out from Carl. Carl ready to run down S4. You've got Cuckoo and 22 Savage. They stay on top of FNG. The Ogre falls. Zephyr is chasing pushes Sniper. Back Carl. Zephyr's soloing Sniper. He solo killed Lip. And at the same time, it's not looking great for the rest of Alliance either. 23 Savage is running down Nico Baby and Hansken. They'll get underneath the tower, but Cuckoo, he's jumping. Oh, see that Whoa. damage! Cuckoo, that enchant totem, it just took pretty much the entirety of Nico Baby's health away and from him. And back. And now Mora is also. S4. S4. Oh, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna live for now. But They're that, chasing. They have a stomp they, they can are, catch Cuckoo. it too, but he blinks out. And he sort of rushed to get stuff done as, as Nico Baby they're just keeping him safe, giving him a good area of the map to farm in. That's getting off standing a chance there, though. Savage able to catch him off guard with the E Blade burst. Turns into the Nyx, stuns him, sets up his own shotgun. Still 30 seconds on Aegis, he's going confident. Oh! Oh! oh, oh it's oh, a 3 one. Oh, it's oh my goodness! He just jumped in and got the 3 and Oh the my god, just they are all dead! Oh, dude, we weren't, nobody was expecting that! Oh, well, he has a whole day list since picking up the BKB with Spirit, nice smoke. Oh, Jabs, It Careful breaks, Tron to Tokyo. They know something's around these cliff areas. They're going to be able to find jabs first. Actually, the cookie does manage to catch the Mars. He doesn't get anything off. He gets ravaged. BKB actually goes down. He's trying to defend himself. The arena goes out last second. That's all he can do. The damage the stolen away from Raven. Raven is not going to be able to hit too hard here as Toronto Tokyo has drained him of everything he's got. And he's pulling through those refraction charges as well. But he needs a little bit more help. And his plasma field is just enough to be able to get the tip and get the kill, triple in fact, for Toronto Tokyo. Oh. But it's already gone. Already taken. Oh no. Oh no, he got on top of him. The Orchid is going to go out. The Global Sounds is going to be able to cover Aurora, the retreat Aurora. of Lamp Fly. Chasing after him, not quite good enough. They do take away the Aegis, that's nice. Hanskin JT. is very likely going to die for it. JT on the high ground, jumping over, going for the Slark, the Finger of Death, and they don't even need the Echo. JT holds on to Oh man, that damage. Emo somehow stays alive, gets off the BKB Bloodstone and turns the fight around. Alliance were so close to a crucial pickoff that could have helped them turn this game around, but instead is going to be the bells tolling for them. As game one looks like it may be coming to a close as they wow. have zero buybacks on their heroes. I, I was like, a hundred damage.